What else have we learned about Faisal Shahzad, who became an American citizen just over a year ago? Was that part of his plot, or did he somehow change? Chris Cuomo has been digging into his background. Chris. Diane, we've also recently learned that Shahzad is actually the son of a prominent member of the Pakistani military. But for all we learn, the big question remains. Why did someone with apparently so much to live for simply decide to throw it all away? Faisal Shahzad seemed to be living the American dream. Wife, two kids, nice house in the suburbs, an immigrant from Pakistan bettering himself through education and hard work. They had little picnics in the backyard. They were always to themselves. The wife looked happy. Her web page, filled with baby photos, says she loves everybody loves Raymond and friends. Under the photo of her husband, a caption, he is my everything. But in this pile of trash left outside his former home, we found traces of a life left behind. This job application lists primary school in Saudi Arabia and several schools in Pakistan. There are signs of his efforts to learn the English language as well. He lists the University of Austin, Texas, as in Austin, Texas. Yet Shahzad would go on to earn a BS and MBA at the University of Bridgeport. Even his signature seems to suggest optimism. It appears a heart is dotting the I in Faisal. Financial and personal documents show expanding credit card limits, timely mortgage payments, as he worked as a financial analyst for the Athenian Group from 2006 to 2009. But as 2009 begins, a disturbing change. This next door neighbor is afraid to show her face, but says Faisal seemed frightening. When he came out at night, he came in all black. And so he just like was creeping around the house in all black. Faisal's wife had given her these bracelets from Pakistan. Then they were gone. The house was abandoned and they left everything in the house. Shahzad gave neighbors different reasons for leaving. A baby on the way, taking care of family, moving to Missouri. One thing's for sure, just two months after gaining citizenship, he vanished into Pakistan. The house lay vacant, bills unpaid. J.P. Morgan Chase would foreclose on the $200,000 home. And of course, just over three months ago, we now know that officials believe that Shahzad returned to the United States alone without his family here in this apartment building in Bridgeport and that he was bent on a mission of destruction, Diane. And we thank you, Chris Cuomo.